Hey, it's Marky Mark here. And uh, today we're gonna show you how to do something really cool. We're gonna build a wooden uh, case for a buffet line. So you're doing all these, uh, you know, these rustic barn weddings and things like that. Um, and, you know, they put the chafing dishes out. They all look the same. But this idea is pretty cool. Not mine. I got it from someone else. But I DIY'd it and it uh, came out pretty good. So I'm going to show you what we got. All right. So there's the box that's completed. Um, you can see that I wood burned it. This one, these are going to be wood burned. Uh, you can stain them. You do whatever you want with it. You got to put air holes in the side so your sternos breathe, right? And all it is is four pieces of lumber. I ripped them down. It's rough sawn pine, so it's really cheap. And I uh, screwed them together, burned the whole outside of it. All right, so on these ones, uh, what we're doing, instead of staining them or painting them, like I said, just want to show you how this is done. Um, I've got a uh, just a regular torch here, you know, regular 12 hour torch, whatever. And uh, I just, you know, hold it. And uh, it goes pretty quickly. You don't have to hit it too hard unless you want more. Just kind of move the torch back and forth and you'll get you'll get some color. Obviously you leave it in one spot like that, it's gonna get browner. See what I just did there? So you can move along pretty quickly and uh, do the whole thing without spending a whole lot of time on it. It's just this side right here. If I leave it the way it is. Took less than a minute to do. Depends on what you want it to look like, like I said at the end, you know? So you can see I've already done the other side. Um, sorry about that. This is my fourth one. And I've got four more. I had to make eight for this caterer, so in progress. Watch this. Sterno goes in, and I might have made this one a little, um, a little small. I'll adjust on the next one, but the sterno fits in there. Now, if if you don't want this gap right here, then you gotta you gotta um, take those off and make it smaller. Okay, I, uh, these don't belong to me, so I didn't take them off. All right, so then you got that, and you got your pans. Pans go in. Of course, you got your water pan. You got that. And then you got your lid. Lid goes on. There it is. So now instead of seeing the bottom, you see this really nice rustic look. I'm about to make nine of these, but it's so simple. Just remember when you're screwing them together, pre-drill your holes. I went with uh, screws instead of uh, my nail gun uh, for a little more stability. And that's it. And you can see we still have the gap. There's a gap right here um, because those handles are in there. Now you can also put a handle on the outside if you want to do that. Um, but I just, I'm making these, this is how they want them. They didn't want handles on them. So when they're done, they're just going to take it out, boom, and uh, go to town. So that's it. That is the DIY, how the wedding planner does it for the, uh, rustic barn buffet line uh whatever you want to call it and they're they're fairly light too the whole thing um maybe it weighs a couple pounds because it's all dry pine peace out